this video I'm going to show the process of removing the hot end assembly on a P1S. It's the same process for a P1P and probably fairly similar for the X1 carbon other than the wire connectors are slightly different. Um, I will actually probably take the extruder out as well just to show how it's taken out. Um, I've seen a couple of people online struggling with the removal when they had had filament broken inside in the extruder. Um, so we'll start. First thing to do is pop off the cover slightly. You'll see there's a connector up in the top right hand corner for the fan. Simply pop it off the board, place it one side. Your nozzle hot end assembly has two connectors, one for the fan, which is this top one, which pops out, and one for the actual heating element itself, the thermistor. Pop it off the board gently. Uh, move the wires back from behind the clip. And you've got these two screws here. These two screws hold in the hot end. That's all that holds it in. Make sure you've powered off your machine prior to doing all this, of course. So once you get your first screw out, open your second one. This is a two mil Allen key. I've got these on Amazon. They've got a ball connector on the end of them. They're quite good. So once the two screws are removed, make sure that the filament that's coming through this into the hot end is cut. That there's nothing there to stop it. And Simply pull down on the nozzle and it will come out of the unit. Simple as that. So, in order to remove the extruder, we want to push down on this connector here. It, typically, you wouldn't have this little shorty connector piece, but if you push down on this black plastic thing on the back, your PTFE tube will remove. Let me just tuck him out of the way for a second. To remove this screw here, to get this filament cutter out, push this in first and it'll take the strain off the actual bolt. Some people are stripping the threads on this because it's too tight. It's too tight because there's pressure on it. If you push in the lever, there's nothing going against the threads. You don't have to remove this fully, just far enough that this will slide out past. There's the cutter out and removed. You have one connector up here. This connector is for the filament runout sensor. Pop it off the board with your nail, gently. You have, I think, three screws holding this extruder in. This one here, one here, and one here. Once you have those three removed, they should slide off the printer, which it does. If you look on the back of it here, you've got four screws. So to disassemble the extruder mechanism, there's one, two, three, and four. Probably should be doing this on a bench, not in midair, but anyway. This back cover should pop off if you pull it slightly, like so. To remove this gear, just slacking off this tensioner screw. 
this is what sets the tension of the idler pulley against the extruder pulley. This should now pop off, which it does. So to reinstall this, you want to start with your idler lever, push it in onto this pin, and push it home. You want to get the spring assembly and drop it in like so. It's a bit awkward to line up when you're trying to fill them at the same time. Once it's in, just tighten the screw in slightly just to stop it from falling out. Want to get our main extruder gear now and slip it back in before tightening in the outer arm. Once it's in place, want to get our rear cover back on. Make sure it's lining up okay. Four screws hold on the outer cover. Excuse the noise in the background of a couple of printers running here, so it's a bit noisy. So don't over tighten these, they're just into brass inserts, so they don't have to be sewn tight. Want to make sure this guy is tightened back up again. This is the tensioner screw for the filament. So we're just tighten them in until he stops, don't go over tight. Now we can start reassembly. So this goes back in this way. Just literally just lines back up and it should just pop straight into place like so. Again, three screws hold it in place. The beauty of most of this is that it's the same sized Allen key for nearly everything makes installation fairly handy. So once those three are in, just make sure they're relatively tight. Again, they're going into brass inserts, you don't want to over tighten them. Put this filament cutter lever back in line it up, push it in fully again before tightening the screw, it takes the pressure off the screw. Okay, tight is tight, don't overdo it. Nozzle simply pushes back up from the bottom, make sure the wires aren't getting trapped. His screws. Don't tighten the first screw until you have the second one started. It'll help with lining the setup. Just snug them down slightly. Again, don't overdo it, or you'll strip the heads and the screws. So our hot end wiring 
fits in first, push them behind that little plastic clip, line it up with the connector, and push it home. It's the fan connector next, line it up, push it home. We make sure our connector for the extruder is connected in. It just it should just line up and push straight on, which it did. Get our PTFE tube back in, slide it down, make sure it connects, pull it back and it's okay. And then lastly, just put our front cover back on and it's connector is the top right hand corner, push it home, make sure the wires are out of the way, set the cover on. And if you've changed the nozzle, make sure to update the nozzle in the bamboo uh, handy app to whatever size you fit it and you're good to go. That helps.